Now I discuss about the osmotic laxatives. These osmotic laxatives are the salt of magnesium, sodium or potassium and those osmotic laxatives having magnesium or phosphate that that are known as saline laxatives so what are the drug under these osmotic laxatives are that are the saline puratives under the saline puratives that are the magnesium sulfate magnesium hydroxide magnesium citrate sodium sulfate and sodium phosphate and in non absorbable sugars that are the lactulose sorbitol and mannitol and in under the polyethylene that are the glycol these all are the examples of the osmotic laxatives now i tell you all about the mechanism of actions of osmotic laxatives that's mean how these osmotic laxatives act on our body so when we take this osmotic laxative by orally it not absorb into the stomach it's come into the intestine and this osmotic laxatives act on this intestine in the intestine it's draw fluid in the lumen by the osmotic activity that are the intestine and in the intestine it draw fluid by the osmotic activity and when the fluid are increase in the intestine it increase the bowel for that bowel distension also occur so the bowel distension also occur and when the bowel distension is occur we all are know due to the bowel distension the stimulations of the peristaltic also occur so for that evacuations of watery stool in 1 to 3 hour again i discuss about the mechanism of action by the picture so we take the osmotic laxative by orally and it's come into the stomach but it not absorb into the git or stomach so it's come into the intestine and when it's come into the intestines it draw fluid and by it's draw fluid by the osmotic activity and when the fluid is increase in intestine bowel distension is occur and when the bowel distension is occur peristaltic movement also stimulated or occur and when the stimulate the peristaltic movement easily evacuations of the water is stool within 1 to 3 hour this saline or polyethylene glycol produce the water is stool within 1 to 3 hour but lactulose provide the soft stool within 1 to 3 days these two are most important information cellulose and polyethylene provide the water is stool but lactulose provide the soft stool but the saline and polyethylene glycol act within 1 to 3 hours but lactulose act on the 1 to 3 days now i tell you all about the uses of the osmotic laxative mainly it use in constipation and the lactulose mainly used for the hepatic encephalopathy because the lactulose convert the ammonia to ammonium and this ammonium easily pass by the stool so it can use is in hepatic encephalopathy and lactulose also use in child and pregnant women for treat the constipation next polyethylene glycol or saline it is used for any examinations or in surgery for the cleaning of the bowel and the saline laxative mainly used after the drug administration for the treatment of the food or drug toxicity now i discuss about the side effect so at first lactulose due to lactulose camping and flutters is occur and due to the saline laxative fluid and electrolyte imbalance is occur and due to the magnesium and phosphate it can causes the renal failure cardiac depression and 
it also contraindicated in child and the sodium salt always avoid in cardiac patient so the side effects are cramping flatters and by the saline it can causes the fluid and electrolytes imbalance by the magnesium and phosphate it can causes renal failure cardiac depression and it also contraindicated in the child now i discuss another type of drug under the laxatives that are the stool softener so the examples of the drug under the stool softener that are the docuset and liquid paraffin now i tell you all about the mechanisms of actions of the stool softener so when we take the stool softener like the docuset orally as the stool softeners are the surfactant so when it's come into the intestines it's bind with the stool so docusets are bind with so when the docuset bind with the stool it decrease the surfactant of the stool so when the decrease the surfactant of stool is occur the water penetration in the stool and stool mixed up with the water so when the stool mixed up with the water the stool becomes soft and easily evacuated so as the stool softener at the surfactant when we take this stool softener like the docuset by orally it directly come into the intestine and intestine and in intestine it's bind with this stool and when this docuset bind with this stool it decrease the surfactant it decrease the surfactant and and water penetration is occur in the stool for that stool become and that easily evacuated so so this stool softener mainly used for the preventions of constipation and it also used in decrease the staining at the defecation and what are the adverse effect of the stool softener this stool softener can causes nausea cramp abdominal pain hepatotoxicity on the prolonged use that's mean when we use this stool softener for a prolonged time it can causes hepatotoxicity and in most important information that are the docuset can't use with the liquid paraffin because it can damage the mucosal layer so these are all about the laxatives so i describe in this video two types of laxatives that are the osmotic laxatives and stool softener and in previous video part 1 i will describe about the part 1 i will describes about the laxatives and two types of laxatives that are the bulk laxatives and stimulant laxatives so i will describes about the whole laxatives and the classification and and i also describe the each and every types of laxatives so thank you for watching my video and please shares and subscribes